Glenn, obviously a, a tough season, not the one that I'm sure the team or, or you wanted, but in a season like this, are there still some moments and some lessons that you can take moving forward? Definitely. Um, you know, adversity kind of hit us in the face this year, and I think that's something you can always learn from. And, you know, coming back next year, we, uh, you know, I feel like it should light a fire in a lot of people to, uh, you know, do it right and have a better season. Now, that being said, the record won't show it, but after Christmas, this team seemed to really turn a corner and play the game that it wanted to play. What was that difference between the first couple of months and that post-Christmas surge? I'm not too sure. I mean, obviously, the trade deadline and, you know, bringing in some, some pieces helped us for sure. Um, you know, I thought we had a more sound game, and that definitely, yeah, I think our, you know, consistency went up. Uh, and I think early in the year we had a good game, a couple bad ones kind of back and forth that, uh, you know, the consistency of the effort uh, every night definitely improved. As one of the veteran guys on this team, you see some of the young guys like a Bo Gru and those guys taking steps forward for you. How exciting is it that you oversee the development, see some of those guys really kind of growing into their own and hopefully next year being really key contributors, whether here or with the Ducks? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, Bo in particular, you know, played against him the last couple of years, and he's a good player. And I think he definitely he found a, uh, a different level this year, and it's great to see. And hopefully, he can have a good summer and you know find another one for next year. As a guy, you're trying to win, obviously, trying to get to that next level. How do you kind of walk that line between we're all trying to develop because it is a developmental league, and you you know exist for the Ducks, but also like you want to win games while you're here as well. Yeah, I think it's. I mean. Kind of the same thing, you know. You still got to, uh, no matter what your age, you got to, you know, work on your game. But if you work on your game, you know, it helps your game, which helps the team. And you know, if you're helping the team win, that uh, gives you success personally and for the team. So I think that uh, collectively, everyone should have that mindset that they want to get better and help the team win. And that fan base is called America's finest fans. Did you really get a, a good, a good sense and uh, kind of immerse yourself in that? What was it like playing in front of them this year? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, you know, I always knew San Diego had great fans from playing against them, but it was uh, pretty special to be on the other side and on their side this year. Um, that uh, you know, their support was awesome. Like we said, it wasn't really the best best season, but they were always there, you know, cheering for us and standing outside in the rain, uh, win or lose. So it's those little things that uh, you know I'll uh, remember. Final one for us is playing for Roy and kind of being here for this last season. What do you take away from that experience? Just, I mean, his, his career speaks for itself, but uh, I'm pretty honored to say I uh, played for him. And that's something that, uh, you know, I think everyone in that room can say as well, that he's the winningest coach in, in American League history. And, um, you know, just to say that he played for that guy, to anyone who wants to know, is, is pretty cool.